You too, what's going on, man? No Limit Shine, man. Bring y'all a little, you know, a little quick dribbling tutorial, man. I'm not the best dribbler in the world, but I'm going to show y'all some things that can help y'all get open and, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that and all that and some scoring tips and shit. So let's get into it. The first thing is the curry hop, you know, the little hop step shit. Because I know a lot of y'all going to be asking me how I be doing that shit. And you have to put on the curry for the hop jumper. This has to be equipped to do it. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you have that on. That's very important. Okay, after you put that on, you know what I'm saying? It's not that. It's not hard at all. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the timing. All you're doing is you hold, you tapping X or square. You know what I'm saying? If you're on the Xbox X and PS4 square. While you're moving the left analog to the left, right, or down. So I'll probably show a little the little joystick shit so y'all know what I'm talking about. So let's say it don't matter what ball, it don't matter what hand it is. You can do it to whatever side you want to. So let's say I'm on the left side. All you would do is just tap X or square and move the left analog stick to the right. But you have to do it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You have to do it at the same time or it's going to fuck up. If you do it like this, then it's going to do some shit like that if you fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? So you have to do it at the same time. So remember, you tap an X or square, and you move in the left analog, left, right, or down. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just that simple. That's it. It's all about the timing, though. You know what I'm saying? If you hold X, or if you don't do it at the right time, you got to make sure the left analog goes straight to the left, or straight to the right, or straight down. If you If it's crooked or... You fuck it up, it's not gonna work. So it has to go directly to the left. The left analog has to go directly to the left, or directly to the right, or directly down. You know what I'm saying? And you can just you can do it like you can go left, left, right, left. You know what I'm saying? You can keep doing like you can do different like combos with it and shit. So I'm just gonna do it like a lot of times in a row. You know what I'm saying? See me right there, left, right. You know what I'm saying? You can do it like you can do it backwards. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You know, just step back a little bit with it. You know what I'm saying? It could be good to get you out of situation, man. If, it's, if somebody, like, ding you up like crazy, you know what I'm saying? You can just get out of that situation. It make you stop sometime with it, though. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just doing it a lot of times in a row, just showing y'all it's not really that hard. Like I said, you just tapping X square or X or square, and you moving the left analog, left, right, or down. Very simple. Very simple. Like I said, I'll leave a little controller shit with the little arrows so y'all know what I'm talking about. It's very simple. And the thing is, once you learn how to do it, just don't abuse it. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're going to be predictable. You don't, you don't want to be predictable with it. Just like, you know what I'm saying, just do it at the right time. Like I said, it's very simple. All you're doing is just tapping extra square, and you're moving the left analog to the left, right, or down. But you have to do it at the same time. So if you want to go left, you just move the left analog to the left and, and tap X at the same time. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do it to the right, it's the same shit. You just move the left analog right. And you tap X. If you want to go, go down to it, all you're doing is tapping the X and holding the left analog down at the same time. Very simple. It's a good move to do. It can get you out of a jam. Somebody playing some tight defense on you. Great move. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know how to speed boost, because people would be like, yo, how do you speed boost with your 6-7? I, I, left, I left that down below in the description. So just check that out. You know what I'm saying? I showed y'all how to speed boost three different ways. So if you haven't watched that video yet, and you having trouble speed boosting, watch that video first before you even watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? So watch that video. Also, the curry does work better with shot creator, so make sure you have you get shot creator. If you don't have shot creator, I'll leave that in the description as well, how to get shot creator. Very simple. It's simple. And some other things, I mean, you can just do combos with it. Like I'm saying, like the cross, and then you can do crossover two with it. Crossover two, all you're doing is this moving. You, you, don't, you don't have to, you can hold the turbo, but you don't have to. All you're doing is just moving forward, and then you're just moving the right analog stick, right, left. Very simple. You know what I'm saying? You can equip crossover, too, and that's a good move you can do. You know what I'm saying? You create a lot of space. So you can hit a nigga. Look, you can hit a nigga with the crossover, too, real quick. Step back. You know what I'm saying? A little curry. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 you just got to just do combos with it. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me show you all my signature skills and shit first. That's what I should have did first. You know what I'm saying? So I got the crossover tool. You want to make sure you got crossover two. That's very important. Put that crossover two on. This is preference, but I got behind the back 10. You know, ISO spin seven. Hesitation three. You can put hesitation four or three. I like three, though. Four is better for, like, if you like to drive to the basket. I should have tried four, but I, I don't really like four, so I, I got three. Yeah, this is preference, but I got 18. 
you oh you want to make sure for the inside out make sure you got on that jeff teague so you can do that jeff teague speed boost you want to have jeff teague on iso cross i got guard one iso escape i got kobe and yeah so make sure you got all those moves and make sure your uh your dribbling and all that shit is on absolute my shit might not even be on okay yeah it's on absolute but yeah make sure your dribbling and everything is on absolute all right, so all for the Jeff Teague, it's very simple, man. If the ball's in your left hand, all you're doing is just flicking the right stick to the right and turboing. Flicking the, you know what I'm saying, it's just back and forth. So let's say the ball's in your right hand, you would just move the right analog to the left and turbo. If the ball's in your left hand, you move the right analog to the right and turbo. If the ball's in your right hand, you move the, the right analog left and turbo. You just keep doing that shit. It's very simple. It's very simple. That's how you do the Jeff T. You can just do that. You can just spam that up and down the court. You know what I'm saying? You can do a Jeff Teague, and then you can mix the Jeff Teague up with the Curry. So you can just hit a nigga with a low, and then, you know, pull up. Easy. Buckets. You know what I'm saying? You just got you just got to mix shit up, man, you know? And then you can do the crossover two with it. You can do a little crossover two. You know what I'm saying? Do a little Curry. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you're pretty sure you know how to uh, do the fucking Kobe escape. That's, you know, self-explanatory. You just hold, the, hold down the turbo. And then flick the right stick down. That's how you do the Kobe. So you can just mix and match things with it. You can do the Kobe. You know what I'm saying? You can turn that into a Curry pull up. You know what I'm saying? You just want to mix and match your moves, man. Just try to get some combos together, man. You don't want to be predictable. Uh, what's some other things I can show y'all? Oh, for jump shots, I would definitely suggest Lamarcus Aldridge on quick. It's pretty consistent for me. You know what I'm saying? Another good shot is release 27 that's a pretty good jump shot too release 27 another good jumper you can try release 70 all on quick too all on quick quick release release 70 pretty good shot as well release 22 on quick another good shot damian lillard on quick that's another good shot i mean one of these jumpers gotta work for you bro gotta work for you Damn, where the hell is damian lillard at yeah, Damian Lillard, whatever the fuck he at. Oh, I'm going for the D's and shit. <laughs> yeah, Damian Lillard. Yeah, so that's another good shot. Uh, what's some more shots I can show y'all? What's another good shot? High school three is a good shot. You can use that. That's pretty good as well. You know, this, you know what I'm saying? Just try to test out different jump shots. But them, them jump shots I just showed y'all is it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, that's about it. Uh, just shooting suggestions, man. Just for shooting, like just just let that shit go. Like it's that simple. Like don't be on no scary shit. If you open, just shoot that shit. Period. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take chances, man. You can't hoop scary. If you're left-handed, you wanna shoot more towards your right side. You know what I'm saying? Now you can shoot on both sides, but if you're left-handed, you wanna shoot more towards your right. And if you're right-handed, you wanna shoot more towards your left. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like if you shoot on your left with your left hand on your left side, it's like I mean, you still can hit shots, but it's just easier to shoot on your right side. But you don't want to be predictable, so don't just shoot all. If you're left-handed, just don't shoot on your right side all the damn time. And if you're right-handed, just don't shoot on your left all the damn time. You know, you want to mix it up, but, you know what I'm saying, you definitely want to get to your, your hot side. And also the corners, you already know the corners is OP. You know what I'm saying, you can go to the corners, cash out the corners, make sure y'all got corner specialists. I, I did pretty much a lot of bad tutorials, so y'all can, can all go take Shooting tips, man, just let that shit fly. You know what I'm saying? Use smart shot selection. Don't shoot with nobody right in your face. You know what I'm saying? You know, take some middies. Drive to the basket. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people would like sleep on dunking. You can drive to the basket and dunk. You don't have to shoot all fucking three-pointers. You know what I'm saying? You can hit a nigga with a little, you know what I'm saying? Jeff Teague. Go all the way to the basket, man. All the way. You don't got to just do shoot threes all the time. Because a lot of times people shoot themselves out the fucking game. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Another move is the, you know what I'm saying? You see that what I'm doing right here, that little crossover. All you're doing is moving, is moving the right and left stick, left, right, left, right, while you standing, like, you just keep moving it left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So you can do that, you can do that, and you, you, can, you can turn that to a curry, pull up, you know what I'm saying? So it's all about practice, man. Like I said, the curry is very, very, very simple. Once you get down, down packed, you can implement, you know what I'm saying? You can do the Jeff T with it, you know what I'm saying? Little Jeff T, curry, pull up, you know, make sure you take mid-ranges, don't just shoot threes all the time, mid-ranges, dunks. Try to get them to them corners if you can. Top of the key in the corners is definitely money shots. You know what I'm saying? Drive to the basket. Try to do the curry, but don't abuse. Don't overdo the curry. You know what I'm saying? I showed y'all some good jump shots to use. This is like a little part one. Right, this is another move you can do right here, man. This right here. 
Oh, hold on, let me let me hit it. I fucked it up. This right here. All right, there we go. Yeah, this right here. That move right here. And now to do that, all you're doing is moving the right without holding the turbo. You're moving the right stick diagonally to the right twice, and then diagonally to the left twice. So you just tap it twice. So like, like I said, all you're doing is holding the right analog stick. Just look look at your right analog stick. It goes up, right, down, and left. You know what I'm saying? So you're moving it diagonally to the right twice, and then diagonally to the left twice. That's what, that's all you're doing. So do this. Diagonally to the right twice. Diagonally to the left. Diagonally to the right. Diagonally to the left. You know what I'm saying? You're just doing it like that. Back and forth. Back and forth. Just tapping it twice. It's like downward, downward, diagonally left, diagonally right, diagonally left, diagonally right. You know what I'm saying? Very simple. I'm 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 gonna show the little controller shit so y'all can see it. Very simple. And you can turn that into a Jeff T, you know what I'm saying? You can just go right, left, Jeff T, curry, pull up, you know what I'm saying? You can just mix it up with that too. That's another good move. So like I said, man, all you're doing is without holding the turbo, you moving the right stick diagonally to the left twice. Dialing to the right, dialing to the left, dialing to the right. And you just keep, you just tapping it, and you just going back and forth, you just going back. Like I said, I saw the little controller shit on the screen, so y'all can see what I'm talking about. That's another move you can implement. You can hit that. You know what I'm saying? You can hit that speed boost out of it. You know what I'm saying? You could just do mad shit. You know what I'm saying? Just try to combine everything together, man. So you can just do that with the Jeff T, Curry, pull up. You know, just, you, just, you can just mix and match different stuff, man. That's another good move you can use as well. Very simple, not hard at all. And yeah, man. You know I'm saying? I don't want to overwhelm y'all. Yeah, but no limit shot, man. If this helped, make sure you leave a like. If any questions down below, leave a comment. I'm pretty sure I can help you out. Or a subscriber that knows, you know what I'm saying, how to do this stuff can help you out as well. Um, like I said, if you in Sunset... You can be a six seven point guard and speed boost, but if you're if your affiliation is Rivet or Old Town and you're six seven, you will not be able to speed boost. You have to make a six six or under. Six six can speed and and uh rivet and old town, just not six seven. Make sure you put your boost on before each game. You know what I'm saying? Remember when you boost up one time, it lasts you until you leave the park. So just put one boost on and it lasts you until you leave that park. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait your VC on boost. And yeah, that's about it, man. No limit shine. I done taught y'all enough, man. Make sure y'all practice that curry. Like I said, it's very simple. It should take you like 20 minutes to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just time it. It's all about the timing. That's about it, man. Signing out, man. Peace.